Rachel has been a member of this church for quite a while. I want you, Rachel, to come. And uh, Rachel will come. See, to appreciate Rachel. Leo inaonekana nyumba ya Obiero imetuvamia. Mwambie jirani yako nyumba ya Obiero. Bas, sasa Rachel nataka introduce muhubiri ambaye ni Moses Obiero. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Bishop. Uh, praise God church. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, this morning we are so humbled, deeply, deeply humbled to be standing here. Actually, I haven't stood here for some time, but this morning we are so humbled. Uh, thank you, Bishop and Mam Alice for entrusting the pulpit to us. I listened to Stacey saying she's a child of this church, and we, also, we are also children of this church who have been... Um, actually from nowhere, but through the Father's vision, uh, we thank God for where we are. So this morning, uh, I'm delighted to bring to you the speaker. I know you know him as, uh, you know him differently, <laughs> uh, but I want to introduce to you my friend, but above all is the priest of my household, of my family. And this morning, I'm not introducing the priest of my house. I want to bring to you the, the messenger of God's word this morning. He has been anointed, he has special anointing this morning to carry the message of the day. So please listen to the word of God. Uh, and this morning, you are being reminded, just as you are doing our ministry prayers in the morning, the book of Psalms, the leader was reminding us in the book of Psalms, this is what it says, um, Psalms 29. Uh, it talks about the voice of God shall be heard. As we present ourselves as vessels, as carriers of his message, the voice of the Lord will be heard. So it's my prayer this morning to all of us that the voice of the Lord shall be heard so that every distraction, whatever barrier, whatever it is, he shall bow to the voice of the Lord. So I'd like us to pray for the speaker this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless your name this morning. We want to thank you, O Jehovah Father, because of your promise that you'll watch to perfect your word. You'll bring your word to fruition this morning through your servant. And therefore, this morning, dear Jehovah, we set him apart, O God, for the anointing of this moment, that he will connect with the congregation, O Jehovah Father, as your message comes forth this morning. Father, we honor you as we present him to you in Jesus' name. Bwana sifiwe. Usiende kwanza recho kujia. Bwana yesu asifiwe. It's a rare moment to be here and so situpige picha pamoja. Na Stacy, Stacy kujia Brian Nuko. Bwana sifiwe. Sijai kuzimama hapa kubiri. So... Uh, Rakisha Brian. Amen. Uh, I'm delighted to be here today. Thank you so much, Bishop and Mom, for giving us this opportunity to preach and minister to your people. Amen. This is Tessie. Tulienda nyumbani juzi watu alikuwa nafikiri yeye ndio huye. Please God church. Please good again. Uh, I thank God for life this morning and I'm happy to be part of deliverance. Thank you. Amen. Uh, so this is Brian. Uh, he just did his form four. He's going to the university next week. Astasia is in Mauritius. Thank you so much. Amen. Uh, so thank you so much this morning. My name is Moses Obiero. I'm a member of this house. I'm a child of this house. I came here when I was not born again. And I got born again here in 1999, 14th of November. So I'm celebrating my 20th year in November. Amen. And since I got born again, I have been on the rush. Uh, Reverend Mwithi, haku nipatia nafasi. From there, alinipereka mbio mpaka saizi mali nimefika. 
na ninashukuru Mungu kwa huyo Reverend amenileta amenilea mpaka kanifikisha hapa actually when bishop Tumising was uh, preaching the other time and was speaking about the fathers eh? and the different types of fathers you remember there were about 10 Reverend, Reverend Mwithi appeared like five times out of those 10 eh? he was like five of them because he's mentored me up to where I've reached today and I thank the Lord. I, I belong, it's good to belong. Bwana Sifiwe, usikai tu hapu na belong kwa hii fellowship ya bishop. It's good to, to belong. I belong to several groups. Ya kwanza ni G12, led by bishop. Bwana Sifiwe G12 wenye hako hapa? Amen. Ya pili ni hii team wenye hako hapa, ni celebration ministry team. Si mbebe tu mikono. Amen, I'm a member of that team. I'm a member of Jerusalem Zone. Jerusalem Zone muko? Yes, um, by the grace of God, I'm the leader of that uh, zone, and I'm a member of Oxel. Oxel Muko. Oxel. Amen. Thank you so much. And I'm a member of this team that is seated here, uh, security team. Can you just stand? Uh, that team. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And I'm a member of many, many others, including that one that I've not mentioned. Yeah? By the virtue that I serve in the, minister, uh, in the security team there, I'm a member of the, whichever team you belong to. Amen. Buona sifiwe. So thank you so much. It's good to belong. Please make sure that you belong somewhere. Uh, this morning, before I begin preaching, I would just like to call uh, two of my members, Mboro and Kirade. Kirade somewhere? Oh, could you? <laughs> How much do you know your environment? Buona sifiwe. How much do you know your church? How many doors do we have in this building? How many? Usianze kuhisabu, Rachel. Five, eh? Which ones? Na hizi mbili? Okay. <laughs> what is below here? Yeah? Prayer room, where is the entrance? Okay, okay. It's good to know your environment. How many gates do we have around here? Ruth? Three? Four? Two? <laughs> we have one, two, three? Down there we have somewhere. Okay, Mburu may tell us later on. Yes, but it's good to know your environment for the security of your person and security of the uh, general congregation. And so this morning, as uh, we, the, some, the person there, can you just give us the first? Yes, I would like uh, our brother just to take us briefly in two minutes on what to do in case there's a shootout. Can it come? Are we speaking of things that are not there? It can happen. It has happened in several churches, yeah? It, I, I know in security we usually think of the worst. In the house of the Lord we think of, we are faithful. Eh? <laughs> but the worst can happen. So what should we do just in case it, it happened? Praise the Lord. I've been given two minutes and I'll make sure that I utilize the two minutes because it's his time, it's not my time. What I've been told to talk about is something that looks like a, a movie, something that looks like it cannot happen, but these are the things that, these are the last days, and these are the things that we are experiencing every other day. Now, in case of an active shooting, what to do? There are three Fs. What are these three Fs? Read the first one. What is to flight? It is to run. You run for what? You run for your dear life. Now, run if and only if the threat is in a far away distance. I think I have said this again here on this pulpit. Usitaka kukua eyewitness. That you had a, a, a gunshot, then you did what? You went there to eyewitness so that when KTN comes, utaonekana kwa news yoni. You might be the next casualty, okay? So when, it, when you hear that and it is far away, run for your dear life. If gunshots, uh, conceal yourself by either crawling down on the ground or with objects like concrete walls and do it in a zigzag way. What is zigzag? Pastor Kibera, zigzag in the gun. 
So you don't go, you don't go straight. Because if you are going straight, the person who is shooting can do what? Can easily aim at, easily aim at you. But when you do it zigzag, it becomes a bit difficult, okay? And as you run, if it's in a room like, if it's somewhere where you're having such pillars, you can run as you do what? You conceal yourself with the, with the pillars, okay? The second one is flat. What is flat? Flat is flat, eh? Flat is flat. Haina mana ingine. Flat is flat. Ground is the safest place during a grenade attack or gunshots. Go flat on the go flat on the ground, okay? The third one is fight. Now, maybe you're in an office, as it happened in Ducit, you're in an office and they have come in, they have gotten in. What do you do? You kneel down and start praying? Or you cry and call your mother? Will that one help? Will that one help? By calling your mother, calling your father, or even calling me, I may not be around, okay? So fight back using all available means if, if cornered. Use anything in that office. Ata kama ni paper punch, ata kama ni microphone, kama hi. Whatever it is around, use it to, to fight your way out. Never allow yourself to be ordered by a terrorist to do what? To lie down. Maybe, is he telling you to lie down? Maybe you can have a fellowship? An attacker kuomba fellowship apo? When they are telling you to lie down? What do they want to do? They want to kill you, isn't it? So which one is better? To die while standing or to die while kneeling down? To a terrorist? Die while standing if you have to die, okay? Maybe, maybe there is a 2% chance that you might hit him and he falls down, okay? When these people come, they come well armed. Wakiwa na za kutosha kuwa everybody that is around. So, terrorists come with one mission, to inflict maximum pain to maximum number of target. The last recorded number of people killed in Kenya was around 21 in Dusit, but the highest was 147 in, 147 in Garissa. I can tell you for sure that those guys were determined to kill everybody in Garissa. They could have killed the 800 students in that school. True or not true? True or true? They could have killed that number, isn't it? Were it not that some of the students applied some of these tactics? They ran, some of them lied, lied down, others went out through various ways. But those ones who are told to lie down and they lie down, that is what happened to them. Lastly, give a scary shout where possible. Give a scary shout where possible. If you are the a room and you feature and you are shouting inside there, you are calling them, okay? You also need to use what? You also need to use a bit of a bit of common sense. See at the feature up if you go prayer room and una shout to give a pale. What a skill go up and they are going to come for you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hoping that I pray that it will not happen. But it, if it happens, apply that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm John Buru. The last time I was here, I talked about how to use a fire extinguisher, and I told you we use the acronym PASS. I don't know how many of us can remember the, word, the meaning of the word PASS. Uh, today I'm here to talk about uh, who is your neighbor. Without turning back, don't turn back. Very few of us would tell us who is sitting behind you. That is what normally happens in this church. And when you wake up, you are not keen to look at what you have left on the seat. You are not keen to look at what you have left on the seat. As much as the security personnel will be there watching, we need your assistance. We want you to know who is your neighbor, who is sitting behind you, who is sitting beside you. If you look at what we have on the, on the screen, you can see uh, phones, hard bags, uh, yes, keys, I can see vehicle keys somewhere. All those scripts have been gotten in this church. So please, when you wake up, uh, have time to look back. See what you have left on the seats. Get to know who is sitting behind you. Apart from that, when you use the public transport or when you are, you are given a, a rift, when you get, you get out of that vehicle, please, how many of us normally turn back to see what they have left on the seat? Very few of us. Unfortunately for the brothers, we are blessed. 
our pockets, when they sit down, everything comes out. So when you walk out, you leave the phone and you leave the wallet. That's how serious it is. So as a church, what I'm saying this morning is get to know who is sitting beside you. Get to know who is sitting um, in, in front of you so that the moment you wake up, when you start claiming that something has been lost and we start trying to retrieve the images from the cameras, the thief will have already have gone. So please help us. And this is to each one of us in this church. By the way, you are watched. Whatever you are doing in the church, wherever you are, you are being watched by the third eye. So we will retrieve whatever you are doing and we will see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mburu. Uh, okay, you can see on the screen, this, uh, that's what Mburu was explaining. That's, you, you can see a young man with the hood. Na kuna bag kwa nyuma bag kubwa. Yu bag kubwa mebeba bag ya one of us here. Pale, ilipotea pale. One of us was ushering out mom. Na kawacha bag yake pale. By the time Ali Rudi, Ule Jamal Kwamechuko. But you can see this is after, yeah? Asha enda. If you see on the second picture here, Ali Toka Mbio Sana Kaenda Chini. So this is after. There's nothing we can do. Please take care of your belongings. Thank you. Now, uh, back to my sermon. Ilianza, sermon Ilisha Anza. Buenas if you. And our sermon today, if you can go to the, uh, back to the screen, it is staying connected to the Holy Spirit. And uh, there's something we call Romeo. Romeo Bila Frequency. Romeo is radio. This is the Romeo. So Romeo Bila Frequency ni... Ni plastic. This Romeo, maybe I can get another one that has a, a big one. This one does not use frequency. There's a big one that uses frequency. Yes. Oh, thank you. Buona si fiume. This uh, thing is a, we, it's called Romeo, it's called radio. It has several components in it. The first one is the uh, gadget itself. Then inside the gadget we have what we call frequency, which is applied for from Communications Authority of Kenya. So without that frequency, this is just a, a plastic. Buona sifiwe. Buona sifiwe. I pray that you go, please just go with me. Yes. Uh, so those are the Romeos, the different types of Romeos that we have. Uh, we have uh, Kenwood, we have uh, Motorola, and several types of uh, uh, radios. Next. Yes, uh, Romeo means radio in security terms. It is a handheld phone with an ability to mass communication, to mass reach. With this one, I can be able to, if all of us had it, we can be able to communicate. Buona sifiwe. Unlike uh, the phone. If I gave an order from here, all of them will be able to, to get me and then to take action. The purpose is for mass communication among the authorized team members. So the team members have to be authorized and it has the ability to mass reach and it allows two-way communication. That's why it's called radio. I can talk as long as I press here. Then when I release, the other person can also, can also talk. Now, how is it used? It is designed in a con uh, design a, con a conventional naming system adapted by a given group. That naming system is what we call call signs. For example, if I want to talk to Mboro, and Mboro is also tuned. And Mboro, we call him Charlie. Chalitango. Chalitango has a meaning <laughs> which is important to us. Now, if I want to talk to Mboro, maybe I'm, I'm somewhere here and he's at the gate and I'm alerting him that uh, one of us, our leaders is coming, I'll go something like this. Chalitango, can you copy? Chalitango. Chalitango, can you copy? <laughs> There's no communication. 
Okay. Uh, if he can copy me, he can say, copying you, go ahead. Wanna see here? Then I'll give him an alert. Uh, Zulu 1, for example, is coming or is approaching the Gulf, Gulf 1. Getting around and clear. Uh, prepare or advance or prepare somewhere for him. That time we've communicated and you guys may not know. Or even our Zulu 1. Who is Zulu 1? Zulu one, Zulu is our Zimmerman. <laughs> Zulu is our Zimmerman. You remember we talked about conventional language? So we've, we've designed a conventional language naming system. So for us, Zulu is Zimmerman. Zulu one now is who? Zulu one will be who? Bishop. <laughs> yes, we have Zulu one with Bishop. Uh, Zulu 2 was Reverend Mwidi, then we have Zulu 3 going like that. That's our naming system. Eh? It may not follow the ranking system, but that's our naming system. We also have names for places like Get. Get is what? Maybe if you can go to the alphabetical order, you can see it. Get has a meaning. Get means what? Golf, eh? Yes. So golf one, we have golf one, golf several golfs, eh? So uh, advance to golf one, or threat at golf one, or somebody, uh, you can describe using this, eh? And that description only, is only known to us. Maybe I'm giving a bit of uh, <laughs> leakage, but it only belongs to us. We can change, we are going to change, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, uh, how is it used physically? It has several components. This part here, maybe you can, if you can show on the next uh, slide. Please just stay on the slide. Next slide. Yes, uh, you can see this part that uh, I'm holding with the, this finger here. It is the press button. So as long as I press this button down, I'm the one speaking. As long as I press it, there's no one else who will be speaking. I'm the one speaking. The button that you see on the right here is the turn on. When I turn it on, now I'm able to, to be connected to the rest of the people. The next button, the one in the middle, is for frequency. It has several frequencies. If you see it, I'm giving that, is it cry? <laughs> It means it is out of frequency. When it's here, it now is in the right frequency. We've been given just one channel by the Secu uh, Communications Authority of Kenya. That's channel number one. So if I put it anywhere else, it will be out of frequency. Now the gadget itself, it has several parts. It has the battery part, it has the aerial, it has the push button, and others. The frequency is applied from the Communications Authority of Kenya. In some cases, we also have a, a center, a control center, in cases whereby we are using a lot of these gadgets. We may have a, a, a control point whereby every communication will be channeled through there. Now, our, in Psalms 104, verse 23, and verse 29 and 30, the Bible says that you hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to dust. So to us, what is this frequency? I wanted us to get uh, the analogy of this. Just to tell you that you are like this thing. Bonus if you will. Uh, just an analogy. Yeah? We are like this thing. Our bodies is like this plastic. Bonus if you will. The frequency in us is the Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit, it is deposited there. Once it's taken out, do we still have life in us? It is gone. That frequency, once it's taken out of this, the plastic remains. The plastic is useless. So this body that we have today here, it is useless without the Holy Spirit. Now, the frequency in us is the spirit. Without the spirit, we are just but dust, and to dust we must return. In Matthew 9, 24 and 27, 
we see Jesus as, uh, this is Jesus saying, make room for the girl is not dead, but sleeping, and they ridiculed him. But when the crowd was put aside, he went in and took her by the hand, and he restored the girl. What, what was being restored by this girl, by, the, by Jesus, to this girl? It is the spirit that had departed, Buana Sifiwe. So without that spirit, at that point, this girl was just but a plastic, but just but a Romeo without frequency. So it is that frequency that Jesus returns, returned. And uh, let's now turn to some of the things that could hinder our frequency or our communication with Jesus. Some of the things that sometimes hinder communication between people who are holding this, or are users of this gadget, are busy environments. You, saw, you see those buildings? This thing is, uh, the frequency we are given is supposed to capture as much as five kilometers. It can even reach uh, Kahawa West. But with this kind of buildings, sometimes we are even unable to reach you know, lower tunnels. Because of what? Of the busy environment. Busy environment and tall buildings and sometimes even the terrain, nature of terrain can hinder it. Now, is your life too busy with issues? One as if you were. If your life is too busy with the issues, then you will not be able to communicate with the Holy Spirit. One as if you were. In Matthew 13, 22, the word says that, Now he who received seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word. This is, the, you remember the parable of the, the sower? And some of the seeds that were sown went to what? To the thorns, and they were choked by the thorns and stones. Eh? And it can happen to us. Just like the, free, the, the frequency of this can be choked by the busy buildings, our lives can also be choked by busyness in our lives. Is your life today being choked by too much busyness around your life? Just ask your friend, ask your neighbor, is your life, how is your life? Are you too busy for Christ? Are you too busy? Amen. Muulize kama frequency yake iko sawa sawa. Iko Wanasemanga iko chonjo. Frequency iko timamu. How is your frequency today? Bwana sifiwe. How is your frequency? Just ask your friend how is your frequency? Are you connected to Jesus or is it too busy? Are you too busy? To even listen to the word of God, even to read the word of God. And sometimes still using this analogy you remember this button is for what the button that I'm pressing here it's for speaking yeah so as long as I press it is anybody else able to speak that's called what jamming eh? so I can jam the entire system by pressing this and sometimes you do that eh? <laughs> sometimes wakenda go slow wanga wana wanafanya hiyo so nobody is able to, to communicate. So as long as I press this, I am jamming the system. And uh, we can jam the system in our lives by being too busy, by being uh, even not there for services, like the Wednesday BS. We can jam this in a number of ways. And I told you this is a two-way communication gadget. Eh? It means I need to speak and then let somebody else also speak. So as long as I'm pressing here, am I being too fair to the other person? Do you know that's what we do in prayers sometimes? How do we pray? Especially when you come for cashiers. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> you are the one speaking throughout. Eh? God, nipe, mungu, nipe, you are not even giving God a chance to speak. Please, when you press here, also give God a chance to, to speak. One as if you press it, say what you are saying in a very short uh, term, then let God also communicate back to you. One as if you So I think our prayer life is going to change from today. Please, uh, when you press, give chance to, to God also to answer back. Now, uh, 
in Matthew 12:43 to 47 uh, to 45 we see an unclean spirit there when the unclean spirit came out of this man and it went out later on it came back eh? and, and it found the house swept clean and what did it do it came back with seven others eh? worse than the original what does that mean in this in, the, in terms of communication it means that this gadget is capable of handling several frequencies it's only that you've been given one, eh? but we, if we applied for other frequencies, it is possible that we could be given. Now you, how many frequencies are you handling? One as if you were. You are supposed to handle only one frequency, the Holy Spirit. From that reading that we've had there, we've seen there, this man, the spirits came back to him because he had not filled that void with another spirit. One as if he If had he filled it with the other, the, the correct frequency, these other seven demons would not have come. So today, what frequency are you uh, handling? Are you handling the right frequency, or you are uh, what we call the multi-level frequency? You know, the, we can also we also have something called multi-level communication, whereby. Uh, we have a frequency where constables can communicate through, another frequency where the other kada can communicate. In Christ, we don't have those frequencies. We just have one frequency, and that's the Holy Spirit, one as if you will. We don't have room for any other frequency. Please note that this gadget, it has the ability to tune in many channels as enabled by the communications authority. And so even us, we have the ability to do that. But today, my prayer to you is that we may be able just to tune to one communication, to one channel, one as if you will. Shut off all those other communication uh, systems and just be tuned to, to one uh, channel. So ask your neighbor, are you a Romeo Billa frequency today? Are you a Romeo Billa frequency? Are you? What did they say? <laughs> did anybody say yes? One as if you were. Are you a Romeo Bila, Bila frequency? Newton. If anybody said yes, please encourage them to be connected today to, to the right frequency. Because this frequency, it is given by Christ. It is the Holy Spirit that is in us. Once it is taken away, that day that it will be taken away, where will it go to? Will it go to the right place, heaven, or will it go to hell? It depends on the channel that you are tuned to today. So please, my prayer today is that please get connected to the right frequency, to the right channel. Uh, and application is free. Usually when you apply for this, we pay some money. Application for this frequency, Holy Spirit, is free. It's available even now. You can have it right now. And if you're ready to be connected to this channel, please just raise up your hand anywhere you are. Are you able, are you ready to, to get saved, to get connected to the Holy Spirit today? If you ask your friend if they're able or ready to get connected to the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? One as if you If they are not ready, maybe they can get ready another time. But for now, I would like us just to rise up and to join me as the choir comes up in singing this song. Feel me once more, Nijaze Ten. And let's pray that the Holy Spirit may fill us once more that we may be connected to the right frequency this morning, that we may be connected to the frequency of heavens. Nijazetenam <laughs> 
nijaze 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 te